peace to you. This is Jesus Galta here. This is a response or to Yearberry's um, barrage of insults and attacks against the Orthodox Church. He wants to cite quotations, biblical citations. <clears throat> well, I've made countless videos of those, but I guess I'm going to have to do it again. Um, actually, if you would look at Second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 15 So then brothers stand firm and hold to the traditions that you were taught by us either by our spoken word or by our letter So we're to hold firm to the traditions of the church And this is your own Protestant translation. It's ESV. I prefer the NASB myself. First Timothy three fifteen. If I delay, you may know that one ought to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, pillar and buttress of the truth. So, we have the works of Paul and the apostles telling us that it's the church that holds the truth. But a 40 year period, the church operated with no writings at all. How did that? They managed to get along just fine. Um, in fact, Sola Scriptura violates its own principle because it cannot be found in this book. You can't find Sola Scriptura in there. Um, if the meaning of the Bible were so clear, uh, then why do so many who hold to this uh, differ amongst themselves? They've gone from the Roman Catholic thing of the Pope is a sole interpreter to every man is Pope. Which again, these are two created things. These aren't traditions passed down by the Apostles. Um, the Bible is totally silent on worship, on Christian worship, how it's done. There's hints. But we have to remember, first and foremost, that the, the Bible was written uh, by the church, for the church, and within the church. It wasn't just in Martyr's Apologies the, you know, explanations to the pagans about, you know, we're not drowning babies or uh, committing incest or anything like that. Um, the, uh, it's very strange. Um, also, if Sola Scriptura is true, why did the, why did the reformers, mainly Martin Luther, remove first Maccabees? From his understanding, and he borrowed this from Jerome, Jerome had a similar idea, um, was that you have to find it in Hebrew. <clears throat> but the Hebrew text that he was he was looking at came a thousand years later than the Septuagint. And the Septuagint, when the, when the apostles quote the Old Testament, they're quoting word for word Septuagint most of the time. So they held this as the Bible. And it was only at Jamna that these got cut off because they were seen as supporting Christian writings. Also, there were vowel markers added in. Um, which changed the meanings of some psalms where it talks about 
his feet and his hands being bound. And they put in some translations or some uh, annotations, I guess, of the Hebrew. Um, it's called Masoretic text or the Tanakh. Um, it's actually there were lions at his feet and his wrists. Um, Luther also changed Romans 3.28. Let's see if it's changed in here. Or if these people were honest. I think they would be. I don't think they For we hold that one is justified by, by faith apart from works of the law. Yeah, see, it's not faith alone. Uh, it was not until 367 that there was anything like the Bible, the New Testament. 367 is the first time that we get it, um, this list of books as the Bible that you can, we can call the canon. Now, in many other places, it wasn't sealed. Again, Armenia has 3rd Corinthians. Why don't you? I mean, you have to use our canon from 367. Um, so you're willing to trust Athanasius when he when he gives you the the list of uh, what is to be read in church why wouldn't you trust him on Nicaea it's the church that's the foundation of truth it's the church that you go to the Bible was something to be read inside church it was written by by the church for the church was within the church. So these are my responses to you. Now, it's very strange. You ask for citations of the Ark of the Covenant having cherubim on them, or the tabernacle being woven with cherubim, which to me seems silly. It's like if I said, well, in the Gospels it says that Christ was crucified and was later rose from the dead saying where is that in the Bible you're a liar so I've given you two passages that just destroy Sola Scriptura and the fact that Sola Scriptura cannot be found in the Bible the church functioned for 40 years without any writings and did fine were they less believers back then? or I mean, were the apostles lost and in the same boat as the Orthodox, I guess? Not having the authority of the scriptures? Or was the, the authority come from the church, come from the actual apostles that wrote these? And also taught, hold to spoken word, hold to the traditions. The church is the pillar of truth. Um, and what about the 300, that 300 year period where there was no canon of what you can call a Bible? So you trust the church all the way up to then and then stop? Is that arbitrary? I mean, where do you find Sola Scriptura in Ignatius of Antioch or Polycarp or Judge? They're completely silent on it. Not to mention that the uh, Septuagint, books like Maccabees and Judith, uh, were Christian. They This was part of the Christian Old Testament. It was at Jamna where you get your, your uh, book, your Old Testament, the uh, cut-off Old Testament, Uh, it wasn't until Martin Luther when 
I mean, he vi that, again, it violates Sola Scriptura again. He starts ripping out books of the Bible because it doesn't agree with his personal view. And I think if the Protestants read the what they call the Apocrypha or what the Catholics call the Deuter Deuterocanon, um, they would agree with most of it. Now, there's a, a dream that somebody has where Jeremiah is praying for something, so you have the intercession of, of the saints, but... Christ says that the Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are living, that they're alive, that they're not dead. So if I can ask you to pray for me, why can't I ask Elijah, or Moses, or Enoch, or Jacob, or Abraham? Um... Do you need to chap do you need citations for the bronze serpent for the cherubim being um, carved images coated in gold on the Ark of the Covenant where there was blood sprinkled the mercy seat do you need citations for that so you're the, the, this five souls just fall apart um, In, in a way, we do believe in all five solas. Sola Scriptura, Sola Fide, Sola, what is it? Sola Gracia, Sola Christe, and Sola Deu Gloria. Um, but it differs from the, uh, the Protestant or the Calvinist viewpoints. Um, See, this is very strange to me. Um, you can look at the Didache to show, you know, worship and things like this. Uh, these were people who already knew how to worship, who were hold, held to the traditions. Do you think Paul spoke more than he wrote? Or do you think he wrote more than he spoke? He spoke more than he wrote. He taught people for years. And we have... We consider many of his letters. But the other wisdom was passed down. And why is it that... Places spread so far away... Ireland to India, Ethiopia... To Mongolia... The Eucharist is always practiced... On Sundays... And they believe in infant baptism. <clears throat> now people say, well, the Bible is silent on this, and you must do this and that, and this and that. Um, it's very funny that the creationists will say, no, it's a literal, literal worldwide flood, or a literal six days, even though the sun and the moon get created on like the third day or something like this. Um, you know, these were 24-hour periods, or, you know, all this strange stuff. But when Christ says, this is my body and my blood, or, you know, they say, oh, well, he just didn't really mean that. So, these are my questions to you. Um, this is both response and questions for uh, Yarrowberry. And if you want to talk on Skype, I'm always open to do that. But the, uh, the vicious attacks and the accusations are uh, unbecoming of a Christian. How do you determine what heresy is? If the Bible is your only source, which the Bible is not, we're not told the Bible is the source, the source is the church. The church is the pillar and the buttress of truth. And it was the church in 367 that compiled the scripture. Martin Luther wanted to tear out James. I think in this first rendition, he actually didn't have it in there. He called it a gospel of straw, that it didn't contain the real gospel, or a book of straw. It didn't contain the actual gospel. He wanted to believe it in. He had other problems with many other books, too. And you'll say, well, that's Luther. I'm different. Um, 
but now you have over, what is it, 27,000 different factions of Protestantism. We're only told there's one church. Um, so, I'd be interested in dialoguing, but this fighting and going back and forth and trolling, I don't really too much care for. Peace to you, may God save Serbia and Syria. Um, I'd like to hear your response on this. Take it easy. Then, brothers, stand firm and hold to the traditions that you were taught by us, either by our spoken word or by our letter. So we're to hold firm to the traditions of the church. And if I delay, you may know that one ought to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, pillar and buttress of the truth. So we. Peace to you. This is just felt to hear. This is a response, or to. Yeoberry's um, barrage of insults and attacks against the Orthodox Church. He wants cite quotations, biblical citations. <clears throat> well, this is your own Protestant translation. It's ESV. I prefer the NASB myself. First Timothy. 3.15 I've made countless videos of those but I guess I'm going to have to do it again um, actually if you would look at 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 15 